Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So a lot of people have been having issues running Steam through the game porting toolkit. They're having this blank window issue. And so today I'm going to show you how to fix this problem because it's causing a lot of problems for most people. And I've got a few solutions here which are different from my previous tutorial. So if you haven't installed game porting toolkit already, then please make sure to follow the link in the description for my full video tutorial on it. So we're assuming we've already installed game porting toolkit and we've installed Steam as well. And we're just stuck on this login screen here. So we have these standard Steam launch commands which are instructed in the wiki. You can try to run the command multiple times and each time you might get lucky, you might be able to log in. However, there is a new, more foolproof way which I'm gonna show you now, which is a little bit novel. But firstly, you should try the command which is listed on the troubleshooting section on the Apple Gaming Wiki Game Porting Toolkit website, which I'll leave a link to in the description. So definitely make sure to try this out, copy and paste this into terminal. However, if it still shows up as blank, then we're gonna move on to the next step, which is pretty much guaranteed to work, just takes a little bit longer. So I've listed the instructions on the Apple Gaming Wiki website as well. Basically, what we're gonna do is to log into the macOS version of Steam. Once we're logged in, we're gonna copy specific files which hold the login session. I want to move it into the wine prefix so you can bypass the entire login screen. So just go to the Steam website and make sure you have the Mac version of Steam installed. Move it into the Applications folder. Within Applications and Finder, double click, press Open, and then the Mac login window will open up and just log in as normal into your Steam account. So once you're successfully logged in, we're going to quit out of Steam on macOS. And then we're going to go to Finder and then we're going to go and press the Go button and then hold down the Option key to reveal the Library button. And once there, we're going to navigate to the application support folder and then go into Steam folder. So within the Steam folder, we're going to make a selection of the config, registry.vdf, and the user data folder we're going to copy. And then we're going to move it along and go into our Wine prefix. So navigate to My Game Prefix or whatever you've called it, go into the C drive, go into Program Files x86, Steam. And then basically, you want to paste the three files here, replacing whatever was there before. Now when we use the command in Game Porting Toolkit to actually open the installed version of Steam, we're going to be bypassing the login screen entirely. It's going to go ahead and log in straight into the account that we logged in on the macOS side, and then we've bypassed the entire login screen drama. So as you can see, the Steam window is logged in on the Windows version, and that's all working correctly. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.